This is question number 23 in chapter 6. So it's 6-23 is a running fix problem. This is where we take two bearings at different times and try to combine them. In the previous two questions that we talked about, number 16 and number 17, we took bearings at the same time, or virtually the same time. And uh, those could be used immediately and crossed and to get a fix. But in this case, with a running fix, the, the uh, bearings are taken at different times. And the running fix is a method for combining those bearings. So let's start out and read the question. In your solutions book, in the question number 23, at 0800 on September 25, 2002, you depart white and orange A flashing four second bell located six miles southeast of Point Judith. You set a course of 313 PSC at 5.2 knots. At 0900 you take a visual bearing of 027 degrees PSC on Point Judith light. At 0930, this is a half hour later, you take a second bearing of 071 PSC on Point Judith Light. What is your 0930 position? First thing is let's look at the, the point of departure. Here's the white and orange A buoy that is referred to and we're going to be heading in a northwesterly direction from that. So let's first take these bearings and our course and do the TVMDC and uh, so we can plot them. Let's come over here and look at these and we'll look at all of them together but we have TV, MDC and I have written here course, Judith and Judith. In other words the two bearings on Judith. So there's 313 for the course, 27 on Judith and 71 on Judith. Let's look at deviation that we need for this TV, MDC. We're at a course of 313 and we go to the deviation table and let's look at 313. Well here's 300 and here's 330. 300 is 0 degrees deviation and 330 is 1 degree deviation. So 313 is less than halfway between 300 and 330. So we're going to choose the zero degree deviation for that reason. So all of these will have zero degree deviation because remember the deviation is based on the boat heading, not on the bearing. So all these deviations are based on the 313 boat heading and we apply zero to all of these. So magnetic is therefore the same as the uh, PSC. For this chart, let's go back to the compass rows and look at what we have in terms of variation. And you notice on the compass rows, again, here's the magnetic rows, the inner rows, and you see variation is 15 degrees, 00, zero minutes, west, 1985, and the annual increase is 3 minutes. So in order to bring this up to date to 2002, in your solutions book, we have again here variation in 1985 is 15 degrees, 00, zero minutes west, correct to 2002. So we take 2002 minus 1985, 17 years times 3 minutes per year, increase equals 51 minutes west increase. Variation 2002 therefore is 15 degrees 00, zero west plus 51 minutes equals 15 degrees 51 and we round that off to a whole number of 16 degrees west. So 16 degrees west is what we use in our TVMDC formula. So 16 west will apply to all the readings. And remember going from right to left in this table TVMDC will subtract westerly variation. So 313 minus 16 is 297. 027 minus 16 is 011. And 071 minus 16 is 055. We now have 
the course and the bearings converted to true. So let's go to the starting point and let's take our course which is 297 true and plot that. So here's 290 and 300, here's 297 and I will put my parallel rules there at 297 and here's my white and orange through my white and orange and there's my basic course line at 297 true or 313 PSC the problem also stated that we are traveling at 5.2 knots and we departed this mark at 0800. So I'm going to mark that 0800. Now the first bearing that we took was at 0900. So it's one hour later than our starting time. So with that we have our distance traveled in one hour at 5.2 knots is 5.2 nautical miles. So I want to find my DR position at 0900 which is going to be 5.2 miles. So I come in here to my latitude scale and set the point on some even number of minutes and I want to find 5.2. Well this is 15 And 5.2 will be up here. Here's 20, makes 5. And 5.2 is right there. So that means that here is my DR at 0900, my dead reckoning position. So I'm going to put a half circle and a dot and mark that as 0900. The second bearing was taken at 0930, so that's a half hour later. And a half hour times 5.2 knots is going to be 2.6 nautical miles. So I'll come into here and measure off 2.6. And from the 0900, put a mark, and that is my 0930 DR. The next thing I'll do is plot the two bearings on Point Judith. The first bearing was 11 degrees true, so let me come in, here's 0, 10, here's, here's 11, and I'll mark that and walk this over to Point Judith. And put it through the, the dot of Point Judith. And draw, draw that line. Now this bearing is taken at 0900. You notice that the bearing does not go through the 0900 DR. So we're not surprised that the, the bearing taken at 0900 and the DR are not, are not the same. But I'm going to mark this uh, bearing that I took as B 011T for 11 true and I'm going to put in the time as 0900 then I'll take the second bearing of 055 that was taken on uh, Judith Light and here is 055 I'll 
set the parallel rules up there and walk this over to Point Judith put it through the dot there and draw in that line so here's my second bearing on Point Judith I'll mark that as bearing 055 true and the time is 0930 okay so let's summarize so far we have our course line here our DR at 0900 our DR at 930 our bearing on Point Judith at 0900 and our bearing on Point Judith at 0930 now our objective here is to take these two bearings and combine them in such a way that we can get a fix out of them. And the way we do that is we're going to move the first line, the first bearing line, parallel to itself, the distance traveled between the two DR times. So here is the distance that we traveled from 0900 to 0930 based on the DR, the dead reckoning. We want to move this first line that distance. So the way I do that is I'm going to just arbitrarily draw a line parallel to my course line. And it doesn't matter where I draw that line, just as long as it's parallel to the course line. So I'm going to come down here and just draw in an arbitrary course line. I'll just mark that for your purposes at ACL. And I'm going to extend my first bearing until it intersects that line right here. So here's the arbitrary course line. Here's the first bearing line right there and there's where it intersects that arbitrary course line. The second thing I want to do then is take the distance traveled between those two times. So I go to the DR and I set my point at 0900 and I, I adjust the other point until I get that distance. And this then represents the distance traveled between 0900 and 0930. I'm going to take that divider and set it here where this bearing line and the arbitrary course line intersect one another. And I'm going to mark that arbitrary course line right there. My next step then is to take the first bearing line and move it parallel to itself until I go through that point that I just marked. That little point right there. This line I just drew then is an advanced bearing line. And you would normally mark that as with the starting and finishing times. You would mark this as 0900 dash 0930. Meaning this is the bearing line that was taken at 0900 and advanced to 0930. And that's this line here I just drew. Where that line intersects the second bearing line is my running fix. And that's right here. So here's the first, here is the second bearing line. And here is the advanced line. And there's where they intersect. And that intersection is the running fix. And in order to get my position, 
I'm do exactly what I did in previous cases and I'm going to simply measure that latitude and um, read it off. Well this is pretty, I'm pretty close to the edge so I'm going to just use my parallel rule and move that point over here and um, I have a little mark right there and I read my latitude as 41 degrees 19.5 um, and I read my longitude as 71 degrees 31.2.9 71 degrees 32.9 now one of the things about running fixes, as is described in the textbook, is that it's based on two bearing lines taken at different times. The two bearings can be taken on different objects. In this case we took two bearings on Point Judith. But we can also, in the process of sailing here, take two bearings on different objects. We might have taken one bearing on Point Judith and then the second bearing on some other object. You can still combine those two bearings in the same way as we just did here. The other thing that the textbook talks about is the course lines that you're sailing between the two times of the running fix. And those course lines, you can actually alter your course during that period of time. And the textbook gives you a method for dealing with those course variations. It does not have to be a straight line as we did here. So that's running fix.